Hey everyone, Kayser. Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Well, this wasn't too surprising, and it shouldn't be surprising as this is the limited time side quest for Christmas for 2020. Basically, it says here that Christmas is coming to Hogwarts. Yes, I'm shocked. With a break from classes, you have the chance to decorate the Great Hall, run deliveries for Zonkos, and recreate a seasonal treat. But can you get it all done before the big day? Complete this holiday adventure for a one-of-a-kind gift from a grateful family. Is it the candle? I really have no idea. All I know is that I knew it was supposed to pop up this week. You wanted to see us, Professor? Yes, that is correct. I need to know if you'll be going home or staying here at Hogwarts for the Christmas holidays. Uh, not to be rude, but why are you asking about this, Professor? Uh, Despite your best intentions, Casey, some would consider questioning a professor to be extremely rude. Uh, now, without further interruption, uh, hmm. I would like to speak with each of you about your Christmas holiday plans right now. A man of very few words, I like this. And short quests! Professor Snape, I love you the best. Best Professor. I'll be staying at a Hogwarts for Christmas this year. Professor Snape, does this mean you will be taking care of Hogwarts over the holidays? That is a clever deduction, Mr. Casey. In addition to my tiresome task of creating exact headcount of all the students planning to stay at the castle this year, I will be looking after the castle and any remaining students during the Christmas holiday this year. In short, you can stay at Hogwarts as you wish, but I would prefer for you to keep yourself occupied during that time. <laughs> You won't have to worry about me this year. <laughs> I'll be headed home to see my folks just as soon as I take care of a few things around here. Oh. I strongly urge that you do not linger with your affairs, Weasley. Uh, you will be responsible for making it to Hogsmeade Station on time. Is that clear? Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh. Very well. I look forward to this being a quiet, restful holiday. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, Good day. Hmm. What's got him so moody today? What do you mean? Ooh. Snape isn't the warmest professor to be around, but for someone asking about holiday plans, he seemed quite sour. Ooh. Don't you think Snape was colder than usual? No, that's how he usually is. Yes, something fell off. I agree that he might not be the most cordial person around, but that's how he usually is from what I've seen. Ooh. Really? I suppose I could be misreading him. <laughs> Perhaps I've been thinking too much about all the fun I'm going to be having during the Christmas holidays. There might be one reason we see things differently around here. Ooh. Sorry, I shouldn't boast too much. Now when your Christmas holidays will have Snape watching your every move. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. You could put a damp on a lot of things. Ooh. Wish I had known about your plans, Casey. I would have invited you to come back to the borough with me. Ooh. My mom would have gotten your stocking up for you and everything. Yeah. At least you have the castle to yourself, for the most part. Ah, uh, KC and Charlie, just the two I wanted to see. No. But judging from your faces, this might be a bad time. It's alright, Hagrid. I just learned that Professor Snape will be overseeing Hogwarts over the Christmas holidays. Don't let that old trout get you down. There's still plenty of reason to look forward to the holidays. In fact, I could use some help spreading a little holiday cheer, if you don't mind. I'd be happy to help. What do you have in mind? <laughs> Follow me to the Great Hall. I'll show you. Well, they did talk about me decorating. This is what you wanted to show us, Hagrid? How is this going to help us spread some holiday cheer? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I want the two of you to help me decorate the Great Hall. Decorating the Great Hall is a big step up from trimming the tree at the burrow. Are you sure you want us to help? Sure, why not? All the decorations have already been brought in. I just need your help putting them up. Besides, the 12 of those fir trees aren't going to decorate themselves. 12? There's a lot to get started with here, Hagrid. How can we be the most useful? Leave the heavy lifting to me and I'll let you two decorate them how you like. Yeah. 
You did a great job, Casey. The Great Hall looks even greater than before. Don't mention it, Hagrid, but it's not quite done yet. Charlie still needs to put the topper on the last tree. But I do think this will help everyone get into the Christmas spirit. Good. You'll need plenty of that spirit when you have to take them down and box them up at the end of the month. Professor Snape, I didn't see you there. Yes, it appears both of you were too transfixed by your festival knickknacks to notice. Come off it, Professor Snape. Even you have to admit that this helps boost up the Great Hall. Folks need a little Christmas cheer every now and then. Nothing wrong with that, is there? It's... charming, I suppose. Be honest, Mr. Casey. How important are these holiday decorations to you? Very important. They're nice to have. Not important at all. They're really important. Christmas beer! Christmas cheer! Blah! Decorations are very important to any holiday, and they help keep the castle feeling festive. Perhaps I would be more understanding if I didn't feel as though they were cluttering out the castle. I could especially do without the trinkets that look as though they came from a sad Christmas cracker. The decorations are part of the castle traditions. Some traditions are ripe for re-examination. Just be sure to clutter your ladders and boxes when you're done. We'll get out of here just as soon as Charlie dropped up. By the way, where'd Charlie go? I'm almost done. Just want to make sure this topper is on rights. Ooh, I feel a good screenshot coming on. Hey, hold on here. Well, he's gonna fall, obviously. I just want to get a good screenshot before he does. That is the perfect screenshots. Ow! Charlie, are you okay? I'm fine, I think. Just a little dizzy. That's that I can't walk off. You'll do nothing of the sort. Casey, help me bring Weezy to the hospital wing at once. Eh, that wasn't too high of a drop. Look at me trying to justify that he fell off a ladder. How you doing, Charlie? Do you feel alright? Oh. Not bad, I suppose. I'm still a little dizzy, but... Oh. But you remain in that bed for that time being. Oh. I'll see what we can do in the meantime. Yeah. That's fine, but I'll still be able to travel back home for Christmas, right? Oh. Out of the question, I will not allow a student to risk their health for a vacation. You will stay at Hogwarts. You can't be serious. It was just a little fall. I'll take it easy, I promise. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you saw what happened, Casey. Don't you think Professor Snape is overreacting? It is better to be safe than sorry. You look alright to me. Hey, if you're dizzy, that's not a good sign. He's concussed. By the way, Charlie, don't fall asleep. I know this complicates your plans, but I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Professor Snape is just looking out for your best interests. Ah. It would be wise to listen to your friend, Weasley. I don't think a long ride on the Hogwarts Express would be a good idea right now. Ugh. This is the worst. I can't be in bed rest. Not now. Charlie, I'm sure your family will understand. It'll be alright. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not just that. I'm going to be in big trouble if I'm stuck here in the next few days. You better tell us what's going on. Nah, I think I'll wait a little bit. Your great hall decorating kind of zapped me of my energy. I can handle my family, I suppose, but I have a debt to repay at the Zonko's for accidentally knocking over a display. I had hoped to finish paying it back before the holidays. Mm. But if I'm stuck here on bed rest, Bill and Bilms will think that I'm trying to run out on him. That's unfortunate, Charlie, but... I'll never be allowed back into the shop again. Ah. What a pity that would be. Mm. Come on, Professor. I can't stay here for a short tumble like this. I just can't. I will not be persuaded by your emotional outbursts, Weasley. Ah. However, I will be sure to notify your parents if you tell them foolery and subsequent mishap. Mm. Great. I don't know what I'll do. If I'm bedridden, Bilton is sure to ban me from Zonko's, probably for life. 
But you're no shape to be out and about. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Feels like there's nothing I can do yeah. about this. Why don't I help you keep your promise? It'll give me an excuse to get outside of the castle during the Christmas holidays. Oh. Really? I don't want to be a bother or... Charlie, let me do this. Consider my Christmas present to you. <laughs> you're the best, Casey. What kind of friend would I be if I left you here without any help? <laughs> You'd be Professor Snape, that's who. <clears throat> I will not be persuaded by your emotional outburst, Weasley. <clears throat> it's like he already knows he's getting lumps of coal for Christmas. Forget about him right now. How can I make sure that your dad is repaid? <clears throat> Go see Bilton at Zonko's and explain everything to him. Couldn't I just say to Bilton, Hey, he took a massive tumble. He's in the hospital right now. He's not going to be able to do anything about that. When he gets better, can he come see you? I can guarantee you the Bilton will be like, Okay, sure. I'm going to admit right now that I'm kind of sick of Zonko's. We dealt with Zonko so much in like the main story, especially early on. I think I'm just Zonko'd out. Ah. Season's greetings and welcome to Zonko's Joke Shop, home of the original Hick off sweets. Yeah. Wait a tick? Is that you, Mr. Casey? Yeah. My apologies for not recognizing you at first. I've been swamped with customers today. Hello there. Look, I've arrived just in time. I'm afraid I don't understand. Are you looking for something in particular today? My friend Charlie Weasley has promised to work off a debt to the store. He most certainly is. It took days to clear the stench of the dung bombs he accidentally knocked over and set off. Well, Charlie had a spill at school and is currently on bed rest. He asked me to help him repay his debt. A spill at school? I mean, no offense, but something about this story smells funny. Charlie was my helpful elf around the shop because we're so busy, but I can't trust just anybody. Why should I let you work off Charlie's debts? I'm a harder worker, it is my Christmas gift to him, I really love Zongos. I did promise him it would be my Christmas gift. I told him this would be my Christmas gift to him. Well, that's awfully generous of you, but you don't even know what I've had Charlie do to repay his debts, do you? No, but when we talked about it, he was worried that you'd think he ran out on his promise. It means a lot to him. Your heart is in the right place. I like that. That's a very important part of being a helpful elf, you know. Alright, let's talk about the errands I need a helpful elf to run for me and see if you're a good fit. Sounds to me that Charlie is a very nice and trustworthy person, so why would Bilbo think that he's running out on him? And the fact that he accidentally knocked it over, it's not like he did it on purpose. I think your story smells funny, Mr. Bilbo. Offering to help a friend is definitely something that a helpful elf would do. You can help work off Charlie's debt. Great, I won't let you down. But just because we sell fun and games here, doesn't mean that working here is all fun and games. Although I must admit that being a helpful elf is often very fun. Of course. Where do you want me to start? I still need to prepare several orders, but I have stacks of deliveries ready to go. For today, let's have you start by making some deliveries around town. How about we start there? Absolutely. Yeah. Don't dawdle. We have so much to do between now and Christmas. So, it looks like I'm going to probably give Snape a present at the end. And he'll be happy. And he'll thank me. I can only dream, right? Obviously, you can see that the first part is complete. I got three more to go, but I still have three and a half days remaining, so I'm doing pretty well. With Bilton on board, you need to run errands for Zonko's Joke Shop to repay Charlie's debt. So I guess that's what's going to be happening in the second part. Loads of time. Loads of time. So let me know down below what you think so far of this. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but I think you have to be year three? Chapter six, or... I think something in that range. I'll toss it on the screen because I'm not entirely sure what it was. And I'll see you very shortly with more in the Christmas updates in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.